Bind failed. That, that's no good. Hey, welcome back to Buddy RC. My name is Dan. We here get a lot of phone calls about how to bind a Spectrum satellite with the OMP M1 and the M2. So we're going to have this quick tutorial video, just a quick and easy setup. Now this will work for the M1 and the M2 as well. So you get your model set up in your radio and get your transmitter ready for binding. The easiest way I've found is to just take a standard size receiver with a satellite and it can be either inside the aircraft or outside the aircraft. But what I do is, is I put a bind plug in, plug in the satellite, and then I just usually take a little battery and if you plug it into any of the channels, you will see that both the satellite and the receiver are flashing. So what I do then is I bind my transmitter just like I normally would as it goes through the process. Binding. DSM to 22 milliseconds, 1024 resolution. So as you can see, the binding Bind is complete. Binding is complete. Both satellite and the receiver are lit up. Then I take the battery out. And all you need to do is unplug the satellite receiver. Now, once you plug this into the M1 and the M2, this will be bound to the helicopter. You can actually take this satellite out of the M1 and put it in the M2. It will still be bound. So basically, I just plug it into the DSM port. Once you get that plugged in, you plug in your helicopter. The helicopter cyclic is moving up, down, back around. So everything is bound. Now what I did want to show you is you can unplug the satellite, plug it into your M2 without changing your settings in the radio, plug in your M2, the satellite lights up as well, the helicopter will cycle, everything works on this helicopter. Any other questions, don't hesitate to call. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.